Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video, I want to quickly say before we actually get into it, and you've seen the title, you know what it's about, something that I'll discuss in a moment. Um, I just finished up recording podcast with Div Sharp Div. It'll be on his channel very, very shortly. And this is one of the topics we briefly went over in that podcast. A very interesting podcast, I would say. I really did enjoy doing it. Div, fantastic host, and uh, thank you for having me on if you're seeing this video, um, as I really fucking enjoyed it. And I feel like you guys will enjoy it. You get to know a lot about me, um, and a lot of, you know, obviously Div talks about himself in it as well, but stuff that I would never cover on this channel, what kind of personal stuff as well, um, so I really do, and I will encourage you once it is out to go and see it, uh, go and watch it again, but it was very good, I enjoyed it, flowed brilliantly, and I, I feel like it was a really good podcast, and uh, I hope you will enjoy it when it's out, I believe he's releasing my clip talking about this tonight as well, so you've got to kind of get to see more, but be very brief, the clip he's releasing, I'm going to cover it here today because I feel like it's something I want to cover. It's something I should cover. I always stay away from the controversial subjects on my channel. And that's mostly because I don't like the idea of having battles between people who may align with one side and people who may align with another. It's why I don't discuss all the controversial stuff. My opinions will remain with me. Um, but on this, I'm going to speak out. I'm going to give my opinion on absolutely everything that I feel like I need to in this video. Everything I want to cover. There's a lot of things I will miss. Um, but something I just want to talk about, and that's Neil Lennon. Um... A man who has never had it easy in Scotland, and we're gonna come on and talk about it all. Now, if you don't agree with me, don't feel the need, please, to go and leave a tirade in the comments. Leave your point as justified as possible and um, as concise as possible, uh, and, and and don't feel the need to go and abuse its opinions. At the end of the day, everyone is entitled to their own opinions. I'm entitled to mine. You're entitled to yours. I'm not going to call you out if um, you believe the exact opposite from me. But Neil Lennon, let's just run down what exactly happened. At the end of the derby, the night, obviously, a Hibs versus Hearts at Tyne Castle, the home of Hearts. Um, Neil Lennon came under uh, an attack, quite frankly. Um, smacked with a pound coin, to be precise. And um, for what? For taunting the opposition fans. Um, and that's something we're going to touch on. I'm going to give my opinion on his whole taunting and his animation uh, within himself. You know, he's a very animated guy. We're going to come out of that. But basically, uh, Hart scored uh, what looked to be a last-minute winner at the end of the game, where the goal was then ruled offside. Neil Lennon decided then to taunt the fans, um, and in return, he was scalped with an object. No matter how big or small the object, he was smacked by an object. A Hearts fan felt the need to hit Neil Lennon with a pound coin, and behind all of this, a lot more happened within this game. We had the Hearts, uh, sorry, the, what, what it was the Hearts, Hearts goalkeeper, Slamal, um, ended up getting attacked as well. Um, but Neil Lennon's a guy who I will always sympathise with. Always. You cannot change my mind. Unless he went out and fucking murdered somebody, then maybe we'll, maybe we'll change it there. But obviously that's, that's a bit extreme. That's a bit out of the fucking ordinary. If that was to come about and happen. Neil Lennon's a man who I've always sympathised with. I've always loved Neil Lennon. He's always been an idol. Um, I'm a big fan of Neil Lennon. Uh, a man who I won't go into quite his managerial kind of statistics and such at Celtic and that um, that's not what I'm here to talk about this is a guy who uh, and it's been quite blatantly put by a lot of others he came here and from the year 2000 since he signed for Celtic from Leicester City in the year 2000 for 18 years since the guy has had to put up with some amount of shite and the way Neil Lennon summed it up today um, at a press conference or um, after the game whatever it was the way he summed it up is, we might call it sectarianism in Glasgow or in Scotland, but to him it's just plain racism. And I can understand the frustrations of Neil Lennon. And before we get even in to how Neil Lennon reacts in certain situations and how I can understand wholly, completely, and I will say it honestly, I can understand why someone who is not a Celtic supporter or a Hibs supporter would hate Neil Lennon. I completely understand. Neil Lennon's a character. A very big character. He's the exact same as somebody who I would hate um, from the other side. You know, I hate the likes of Paul Gascoigne for when he's turned around playing the foot. And uh, I hate the likes of Kyle Lafferty and Barry Ferguson. People like that. I hate, I hate people like that because it's fun to hate them as an opposition fan. Neil Lennon doesn't get a fun sort of hatred. He gets genuine hatred whenever he goes. And I'm not pinning down every single Hearts supporter in this bracket. I'm not pinning down every single Rangers supporter in this bracket. I'm not pinning down any anybody. It's, it's a small minority of people who feel the need. Obviously, we all go to games and we chant whatever we chant. You know, I chant at Chris Boyd, you fat bastard. People chant at, you know, Neil Lennon stuff as well. Neil Lennon is genuinely attacked by the majority of Scottish football that is not his own support. And it's to the extent where 
it plays with a man. It's, we've got to remember, this is a guy who's a human being. Now, it was said by a few people within the world of, like, you know, journalism and such, that Neil Lennon is attacked because he's an Irish Catholic who played for Celtic. And I believe that can be a spawn of it all. This is all dating back to 2000s, non-stop. This is a guy who's had to sit through the last 18 years and have bullets sent through his door, have bombs. And just, actually, before I go on, one thing, because, in case you think I'm just attacking other fans that aren't Celtic fans, I understand Celtic fans can be completely stupid as well with some opinions that people have. Um, some things that can be said by minority of people can, you know, get people rowdy and offend people. Everybody is guilty of it. Every set of supporters worldwide is guilty of it. I'm not just singling Rangers hearts and anybody else. Celtic, it can happen as well. But that new Lennon, back to Neil Lennon, as a man who's had to sit through the past 18 years with bombs sent through his door, with parcels sent through his door, he's been attacked um, both on and off of a football pitch um, by fans. Um, he comes under 90 minutes of bigotry, hatred, racism as he calls it, sectarianism, absolutely everything. But the minute this guy lashes out in any sense of the word, whether it's a, a, a clearly a joke or whether it is serious, it comes under scrutiny and fire from not just fans, but by journalists, uh, journalists, um, by any media outlet, by other clubs, everything. The minute he feels like retaliating in any way, the guy has had every fucking right of retaliating stripped from him, it seems. And he still does it. Fair play to Neil Lennon. Neil Lennon is stuck by uh, his morals and stuck by his beliefs. And he's uh, not changed anything about himself. And I respect that completely. And I understand it completely. As I said, I sympathise entirely with Neil Lennon. I don't feel like he deserves anything of what he gets. Now, what I will understand is why people can be upset by him, can get aggravated at him, agitated, um, and can get aggressive towards him because he does like a wind-up. We know Neil Lennon's a bit of a wind-up merchant. You see him turn around at Ibrox going like that, going like that, and fucking running on the pitch like a fucking aeroplane, and things he says at his press conferences to clearly aim at other sets of supporters and aim at other people. But you've got to remember, this is a guy who can't just sit for 90 minutes, be attacked on touchlines, have pound coins thrown at him, and be expected to say absolutely nothing. He's a human being. And he's a human being, as I said, who is very animated. He's going to do something. But the thing is, I feel like if anybody else within the game of Scottish football was to turn around and go like that for a laugh, for a, for a laugh, nothing's going to happen. The point I used in Div's podcast, and I'm sorry, Div, if you feel like I'm stealing away half the fucking viewers of your podcast here. Um, the point I used is, when I went to Kilmarnock last month for Celtic Kilmarnock when Kilmarnock beat us, sadly, uh, us Celtic fans were chanting all the abuse under the sun at Chris Boyd. Um, as he walks around the pitch doing his training regime. So you fat bastard, fucking this, that, next thing. And he retaliated. He turned around, doing all this, saying get louder, laughing, blah, 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 blah. And it was railing up us. It was railing up Celtic fans. There's, it's a part of football. It's a, it's a genuine part of football. But not one, not one media outlet decided to make this bigger than what it was. Neil Lennon is an easy target, a very easy target because of everything that's happened over the past 18 years, because of how he's acted in different scenarios and it's really unfair on the guy and I really do sympathise for him, I can't express that enough. Neil Lennon is someone I hugely respect for both his footballing career, his managerial career and is just a human being because genuinely he's a really nice guy who's just an easy target and an easy victim of a lot of abuse, mostly sectarian abuse, which is undeserved at the end of the day and whether it does spawn from this hatred because he's a Catholic, an Irish Catholic who plays for Celtic, no matter where it spawns from, he shouldn't have to go, um, obviously everybody, every footballer, every manager, everybody's going to come under some form of abuse, but the extent that Neil Lennon gets it to, and I will I will underline again, he has had bullets sent through his fucking letterbox, for him to be criticised and uh, shamed for when he feels like he needs to outlash, and he needs to say something back and defend himself, is absolutely ridiculous. And the fact he's getting smacked with any object at a football game is ridiculous as well. And as I say, that's one idiot. That's one idiot who's decided to do that. That's not a representation of the Hearts fans, of any sort of fan. Um, that's just one idiot who's decided to do that. But the guy, um, I completely sympathise for, and I just feel like, um, you know, things aren't going to change for Neil Lennon, until at least Scottish football. And that shouldn't be any time soon. The guy's doing a tremendous job at Hibs. He should be proud of everything he's accomplished in both his managerial career and his playing career. Um, but he's just an easy target. And it's a shame for the guy. Honestly, a shame. I respect the fucking hell out of him. Um, and, you know, some people do not align themselves with Neil Lennon at all in the slightest and will hate him and will probably enjoy seeing him get this treatment. Uh, and feel like a lot of people will feel like he deserves the treatment for the way he does act in scenarios. But let's keep in mind he's a human being. Only so much you can sit and take for 90 minutes of abuse getting shouted in your ear 
with objects thrown at you. You've got to say something. You've got to do something. And sometimes when you see a 90th minute goal get scrapped off after getting all the abuse and this, that, next thing, the natural reaction is for you to say something. You can't turn around and say you've been playing a game of football uh, or, or playing a game of FIFA or anything and you've not retaliated in a humorous manner in your life. He's a professional, yes, and he should be able to conduct himself in a professional manner more sometimes. But once again, you've got to understand the extent of the abuse this guy gets. Uh, a lot of people will not agree with this video. I know that. I don't care. I make my opinions known on it. Uh, I want to do this for a living. I want to give my opinions on scenarios like this. And that is my opinion. Neil Lennon, fucking God bless you. Love you. If you've enjoyed, like and subscribe. I can't wait to see the comments section on this one. And I'll see you all next time.